The heart of Heart of Midlovian is fully pumping with blood right now and so is the signings and it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon with Colombian Andres Salazar looks set to be the next signing for Hearts. Welcome back guys to Southern Scotland TV. Stephen A. Smith says he expects to get confirmation on Andres Salazar signing for Hearts next week. Now, apparently the deal is already agreed and the only thing Hearts are waiting on is a work permit and visa application to the Home Office. But apparently both of those things are expected to be approved, which means we will see Andres Salazar hopefully in a Hearts shirt next week, maybe even in time for the League Cup. Or if not, the third game of the season. Could he play a part in some of the European matches? Possibly. But yeah, Andres Salazar. What can we say about the Columbia? Not a lot's known about him. So I'm interested to see what happens. But it looks like it's going to be a loan deal with an option to buy from Atletico Nacional. So not quite sure if they're a good team. Not quite sure if Andres Salazar is a good player. But... So far, so good. Hearts have brought in players that I didn't exactly know, and they've been good. They've also brought in some players that I did know from the Scottish Premiership, and I'm excited to see them too. So, yeah, it seems like this summer window, I think we've had the best window so far. That, that can't really be denied, and uh, hopefully Andres Salazar turns out to be another good player. And if we do get him over the line, it would be the 10th signing of the summer for Hearts. And, that's pretty damn good, considering a lot of people believed we already had the third best team in the league. And obviously we wanted to add additions to the squad this season. But I don't think the Hearts team was in need of an entire overhaul. You know, I don't think they needed to basically switch up and bring in like 50% of the current squad and you'll replace it. But they've brought in 10 signings anyway if this deal happens. So Hearts bringing in a lot of bodies. I would have been personally happy with like three or four decent signings, but we've already surpassed that. And who knows if Stephen A. Smith is planning on stopping with just um, Salazar. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to see what's going to happen. And A. Smith says, quote, I think both clubs are there on the same page with what we want. We, we now just need to do the paperwork, the issues with visa and work permits. I don't expect that to get confirmed until next week, but every day there are things going on in the background just to get that over the line, end of quote. So, I mean, Naismith pretty much agreeing there that the, the clubs have agreed a deal, the clubs are happy, it's just a matter of the paperwork to be signed. And yeah, it looks like Salazar is going to be a Hearts player. Someone that will not be a Hearts player, though, is Tagawa. And it is going to be confirmed any day now that he will have officially left the club. Naismith spoke about this saying, quote, Yes, we got a bid that we felt was acceptable. And after speaking to him, it became clear it was going to be the best move for everybody. He's been unfortunate in terms of getting the minutes he wanted and needed as a person. His professionalism and character was all fantastic. He was good to work with and didn't cause any problems when he wasn't getting the game time. End of quote. And yeah, then he went on to speak about how the bid came in and it's a natural thing that he moves on and it's better for everybody, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, Tagawa looks set to be going out. Andre Salazar looks set to be coming in. Exciting times for hearts and I'm really looking forward to this new season, which feels, it almost feels like a new squad. We've kept all our best players and we're adding more good players to that. And I think at this point, we're happy. We don't want to, if it's sticking or stick or twist, we don't want to twist. I think we'll just stick right now. If we can end the season or end the transfer window with this current crop of players and keep Lauren Shankland, for me, that would be magnificent. And it would be a, a 10 out of 10 window for Hearts. I don't think you could have expected any better than that. Bringing in the quality that they have and not to lose any players in the process, I think that is phenomenal. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're on Scotland TV, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, Peace.